Hey guys, it's Roast Beef, and today I'm talking about how to get the maximum void ore and artifact drops for trophies by maxing out your luck. I'm gonna go through what gear, food, and trophies you need, along with what your chances are going to look like both with zero, average, and maxed out luck. Remember, if this video helps, like and subscribe for more awesome content, and if you have any questions or video ideas or math I messed up, drop it in the comments below. With that said, Let's get started. So, so getting the max mining luck, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about void ore because that's the most important thing, right? Um, getting the max mining luck, it's going to involve quite a few things. The easiest of which is getting the best gathering luck armor possible. For each armor slot, you can farm out a five percent boost, so a total of two thousand five hundred luck from armor alone. I've got some in my inventory here. It's not a great, but you know it's whatever. Um, you can also add on three jewelry pieces that can each have a maximum of 9.5% boosted gathering luck for an additional 2,850 luck. Your harvesting cool can also have 9.3% at max, which is an additional 930 luck. Having maxed out mining gives, uh, at 200, sorry, gives 2,000 more luck. Tier five food gives 2,000 luck for 40 minutes, and the PS de resistance is the mining luck trophies. If you can get three major mining luck trophies, which are expensive, they will add another four and a half thousand luck to your mining, which brings your maximum total gathering luck uh, for whatever you spec into to four, excuse me, fourteen thousand seven hundred and eighty. I'm gonna open up the Excel because the math is gonna get complicated, and I apologize. Uh, is it up on the stream? Is it is excellent. Okay, okay, just making sure. <laughs> so. When you're mining Orac Halcom nodes, you need a roll of at least 101,800 to get Tolvium or Cinnabar. And then after that roll, another roll of 100,001 or higher to get Void Ore. With that in mind, I've got this Excel open. It's going to help us determine exact chance for successfully mining Void Ore per Orac Halcom node with different tiers of luck. Um, I've got the basic luck at two, just 200 mining. Watch out, kitty. We can't be up here. I'm recording you. Yeah. Sorry. Up down. Down. Girl. Um, sorry about that. My cat hopped up on the desk. <laughs> Anyways, um, with just 200 level mining, you'll have 2,000 luck. If you got gear about like I have, so you've got some pieces, you've got some luck trophies, but nothing crazy top tier yet, you'll have around 7,000 luck. And if you absolutely max out your luck, you'll have almost 15k. Um... With that 2,000 basic, basic stuff, you'll have a 0.2% chance for Tolvium, which is only 1 in 500. And for Voidor, I... No, you're never, ever going to get Voidor if you have zero mining luck on. And if you have, oh my god, you got to be a statistic anomaly, or Amazon really screwed up their math. Or I did. Who knows? Because your chance should only be 1 in 25,000. Um, when you're talking average luck, which is about what I've got, I've farmed some Merc Guard, I've got some 4.5% luck pieces, I've got some luck trophies, I've got some luck food, in fact, I can show you what I've got right here, since I have it all on me. I've got the pants, I've got the chest, I've got the boots, I've got the hat, I've got the gloves, all of this gear, I can get, uh, I think I've got mining luck on a necklace in my storage, I've got mining luck from this food, and I've got mining luck on my pick, and I've got like 150 in mining right now. With my odds, you've got about a 5% chance. For Tolvim or Cinnabar, which is about 1 in 20, or 1 in 19, technically. Um, and then for Voidor, I've got a 0.37% chance, which is about 1 in 268. So every 268 nodes of Oracock on my mind, I should get some Voidor. Still really, really, really low. If you absolutely max out your luck at 14,780, you have about a 13% chance at uh, Tolvium per mining trip, or per or node mined, which is about 1 in 8. And then for Void Ore, you've got about a 2% chance, which is about 1 in 50, um, as you can see right here. Um, and what's crazy is, yeah, 2% sucks. It's really not that much for all the work you're going to have to put in to get maximum luck. But when you look at it as effective as the basic, by having maxed out luck, you have a 480 times higher chance at getting Void Ore than you do with your basic 200 mining luck. 480 times as likely. So instead of every 25,000 nodes, it'll be one every 50, which is huge, right? <laughs> that's, a, that's a huge difference. That, that, like one every 50 sucks, but that's doable. One every 25,000 is like imaginary. That's like, no, no, just, just no. So with all that said, get your food, get your trophies, get mining boys, and best of luck to you. 
Now, if we want to talk about trophy and artifact chances, I have good and bad news. Um, so first of all, if you don't know what a trophy artifact is, it's going to be the pieces required to make your mi the basic trophies and major trophies from miners. So it'll be things like, uh, let me look on the auction house real quick to show you. Um, corrupted, I think I can look up corrupted crest. If I can spell. Yeah, there we go. So this guy improves your corrupted bane trophy so you, you can deal more damage to corrupted. Just one example, the most valuable things are going to be the stacked deck and the loaded dice. Um, obviously, there's none for sale, and it makes me sad because I would buy them immediately because these are going to be how you get better loot luck trophies, which are probably the best single trophy in the game. But yeah, these pieces are required to make trophies to basic and major, um, and they can drop from monsters and chest. Now, the sad thing about these drops is that they do rely on your loot luck, which as I detail here, can't be stacked as high as your gathering luck. I'm going to talk about where you can get it from. So for each of your five armor pieces, um, you can get up to, and I say up to because, okay, well, it's a max. You can get up to 280 uh, luck per piece or 2.8% and then an additional 0.5% or 50 from pearls for a total of 330 per slot maximum. That's maximum here, okay? That's not ideal, that's not, or that is ideal. That's not like your average or anything that's hard to get. That is absolutely top of the line end game gear. You can get up to 330 luck per piece for a total of um, 1650 uh, on your armor. Uh, jewelry can be the same way where it's 280 luck from each slot and bags are the same way where it's up to 280 luck for each slot and those add another 840 each. There's not any loot luck food, so you can't get any from that trophies now the loot luck trophies that's where the big numbers come from because um if you can get three major ones that adds a total of four and a half thousand to your luck or almost as you can see almost half of your luck is going to over half your luck is going to come from those trophies um and then technically and i put an asterisk here because it's it is technical you can get 280 luck from your equipped weapon but the unequipped weapon does not help and the weapon when you loot a chest, you like put the it on your back so you, you don't get the boost from it. So like you can see with this great axe, I have 1, 11,789 HP. If I put the great axe away, oh, it actually doesn't do it with the great axe. Does it do it with the uh, hatchet then? No, it's only when I have the sword and shield. Okay, weird. So if I have the sword and shield equipped, so if I've got the sword and shield, I've got 11K 934. When I put it away, I've got 11K 810. That drops this boost, the luck in the constitution, and it drops this dexterity and focus. I lose that because it's away. So if you have luck on weapons and you're looting chests, it doesn't actually help. But if you're killing monsters, it'll count as long as you have it out when you kill the monster. Um, so yeah, we're not counting this weapon luck because it doesn't really help. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so in, in total, that brings your maximum luck to 7,800 and 30 and this is specifically your loot luck for opening chests and for killing monsters and getting trophy artifacts and i've got to say uh over here i've got the loot table uh the raw database or at least snippets of it this stuff is really complicated it doesn't make much sense and it's really poorly organized so even with decent math skills it's hard to make heads or tails of it but so running off of the loot chance for a loot container a large loot container you have a 25 percent chance of getting this extra roll or one in seventy five thousand or sorry, you need a 75,000 or higher to get the extra loot roll. And then to get a trophy artifact specifically, you need a 99,500 or higher, which is just stupid hard to get. I don't know why they thought that would be cool, but that's what they did. Um, and so the chances are, if you have no luck whatsoever, your chance of getting an artifact is 0.13% or about one in 800. If you have my luck, which is average from, you know, I've got a couple luck pieces. Uh, yeah, I've got them on now. So it's like 2.5% each. And then I've got this ring for another 4%. I've got this for another two. One of my bags has one and a half. You know, and I've got some loot luck trophies. Just run of the mill stuff. You get about a 1% chance or one in 100. And then if you have maxed out luck, your chance of an artifact gets up to 2.73% or about one in 37. And that's best case scenario. Um, so these odds are pretty crappy and you can't really choose what item you get because you can get when you're opening a chest you can get any of the different uh trophy artifacts as long as you're in a level high enough zone that's an important note i'll talk about that in a second but yeah so 
odds of an artifact dropping are really low. Uh, they're really rare on my server. It's a low pop server. And so it's actually hard for me to continue furnishing because there's so little materials for me to use. Like it, it's in uh, here, it's in your mats. It's going to be in your raw resources and your crafting components. And then they'll show up and you can see Brightwood has nothing essentially. And there where there's some, you know, some of the beast ones, some of the corrupted ones. I might actually grab this. These might be worth a little bit. I don't know though yet. Um, but yeah, so there's not much available. Uh, that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, speaking of level requirements, uh, some things like the stack deck, for example, have level requirements. So the stack deck, which is used, I think, to take your minor luck trophy to a basic luck trophy, only drops in zones that are 35 plus. So anything down here pretty much won't work. Any of the, the starter zones, Cutlass, First Light, Windsward, Monarchs Bluffs, Everfall won't work. Weaver's Fen can, but in, in this zone, the lower half is below level uh, 35 and the upper half is above level 35. So you have to go up here if you want to get that. Um, farming in Eden Grove is where I've been trying to farm them, but I just started that yesterday, so I've not got a lot of data or anything from it yet. Evanscale Reach works, Restless Shore works. Um, and then there's some stuff that's level 50 plus, like the Loaded Dice, which is to take your Loot Luck Trophy all the way to Major. Um, but yeah, with that said, I hope this video sheds some light on a complicated but pretty important topic. I'm going to link all my sources in the description. Um, as always, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed, and do the subscribing as well. Hit the bell, all the all, whole nine yards. Help me out, boys. Help me out. <laughs> and then comment if you guys think of anything I missed, or if there's a question you have that I didn't answer and that I can't answer. With all that said, that wraps up today's video. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and keep it beefy, boys. I'll catch you in the next video. Hello there.